Hey everyone, welcome to my tutorial for All Time Low by John Bellion. Um, this is my first time recording using the audio from the camera, so we'll see how that works. I don't know if it's picking up my fan, I don't know if it's picking up the TV in the other room. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it sounds good, so that's why we can do this tutorial. Casual reminder right here that I am not professionally trained in music theory. I did a little bit in college, but nothing super in-depth, so if I use any incorrect terminology, I apologize. I taught myself piano by ear, so if anything is incorrect, my bad. So, to start, we're going to start with some chords. The chords are really easy, there's only five of them, I believe. To start, we have F. This is going to be F, A, and C. Second chord is G, G, B, and D. Third is A, A, C, E. Then we're going to do a C modified. So we go A, or G, sorry, G, C, E. And then the last chord is E. We're going to drop down. E, G, and B. So, the chords are F, G, A, C modified. The reason it's C modified is because the notes C, E, G make up C. But instead of playing them like this with the high G, we're playing the low G. So it's still the same chord, but dropped. So we got Then we're dropping down to E. And those are the chords we're going to be using. So for the verse, it's pretty easy. We're going to be using all the chords in order that I taught them, excluding E. So it's going to go. Following that pattern. So. F is going to be held a little bit longer. Pause. No pause between those. No pause between that. And then straight back to F. And the cycle repeats. So the notes are going to go like this. So that's the main part of the verse. Next comes up what I call the pre-chorus, or it's basically where the verse changes up. And so it's going to be the same thing, except for now we are going to be including E into the mix. So it's going to go, same pattern, F, G, A, C modified, but instead of having a pause, we're going to have C modified, down to E, back up to F. So it's going to sound like this. And that's the pattern for that part. So it's going to sound like this with the notes up here. And that's it. For the chorus, it's going to follow that same pattern, so it's going to go F, G, A, C modified, E, back to F. And that's basically all the chords for the song. Pretty easy for the chords. Now, we're going to be getting into the actual lyrics part of the song. This is kind of tricky, getting the rhythm of playing the left hand with the right hand, it takes a little bit of practice, but it's not the hardest song that I've ever had to do. So if you just keep track of what notes are playing when, 
give it some practice, you should be able to do it, no problem. So we're going to be starting with the verse. I'm going to be ignoring the left hand for now, but I will play it intermittently when I feel like sh um, showing when the notes tend to be played at the same time to get the idea of the rhythm. To start, we have C on the F chord. Then it's going to go D, C, G, C, C, D, D, C, D, E, C, B, A. It goes really fast, so it takes a little bit of practice, so let's go through it. That's the next part. So instead of going... We're going to change that part up. So it's going to go... C, D, C... G, C, C, D, 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 C, C. And that's the main part of the verse. It takes a little bit of practice, getting used to the notes when they're played, the rhythm. It tends to change a little bit, adding extra notes here and there depending on what words are being sung. But the most part, it tends to follow that rhythm. So I'm going to play through the part right now. That's the main verse. Now we're going to get into the pre-chorus quotations there because I don't know if it's actually a pre-chorus, but it's a change up of the verse at least. So instead of playing just the C when we return back to F, we're going to add, let me actually zoom out a little, no, other way. There we go. So we're going to add C and A as a note or a chord. So it's going to go... And then when we do that, we're going to go C, A, up to C, down to B, and then we're going to do the, um, the actual words going down from A to C. And it's going to be a lot of repetition, so bear with me. So we're going to go A, 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 G, G, E, E, D, 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 C. And then we're going to do D, 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 C again. And then C plus A. Repeat. And that's that part. So let me play it with the chords on the left so you can get an idea of how it plays. I'll do it slow. And right here, we're going to do the all-time low part. So we're going to drop down to G, go up to F, and I'm sure you can figure out from here. All the way down to A. And now to the chorus. The chorus is a lot of repeating notes, but I think it's the easiest because it's the most catchy part of the song. So it's pretty easy to figure out the notes and how they go. So same chord pattern as we're doing, but it's going to be A, 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 G, A, A. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to keep track. Three A's, one G, three A's, two B's, Three C's, B, 
F to C, two G's, drop down, two B's, and then back to A. You go repeat that whole cycle four times. I did it out of rhythm, so let me play it slowly so you can get the idea. Now with chords. And that's the chorus. So, for the rest of the song, it tends to repeat these parts. It goes verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and a modified pre-chorus. You can um, watch my cover. Link will be in the description and also in the end card of this video. And you can see me modifying these parts of the songs. But overall, these are the core tenets of how the song is played. So when it goes back to the pre-chorus, it's going to be modified. Instead of playing full chords, you're going to be playing single notes. Modified chorus. And then it's going to go into a modified final chorus with a... You'll actually see it in my cover, but um, I do a piano roll from G all the way up to the end of the piano. So when it does the last all-time low section, instead of dropping to A, I actually drop down to G. And right there I do the piano roll. Then we hit A, and we go into the chorus, which is modified to have octave notes. And down here, we're going to be playing full length chords. So instead of playing the chords like this, we're going to be playing it like that. F, C, higher octave. Same for all the other ones. G, D, G. takes a lot of practice because it's a lot of jumping around and reaching but the general rhythm for this hand let me zoom out a tiny bit more the wrong way here come there we go is the rhythm's gonna be starting from one note going up going up dropping back down back to where you came from and so when you're keeping a rhythm you're gonna have to modify how this um, pattern from up to top, back to the bottom, goes. So it's gonna be like... Right there I had to skip this note entirely because I didn't have time to be able to reach it with the pattern of the rhythm. So it's gonna be like... a bit of practice but once you get the hang of it you can play the rest of the song and so that's my tutorial you can more or less piece together how it goes with the song listen to the original song yourself and um play along to it get the idea of the rhythm the timing and you can also watch my cover again link is in the description or the how do i do it the description and then it's also going to be in the end card for you to check out. So, thank you for watching this tutorial, and have a great day.